And breaking news that's coming in now. The CBI team had recently visited Italy to probe the Augusta Westland scam further. The team has gathered crucial evidence. Now we are being told the CBI is focusing on the money trail in the Augusta Westland case. The CBI is probing the money trail very, very closely. Remember, uh, issuances of notices have gone out to three countries also regarding this particular uh, investigation uh, that enough information has not been provided to the in, in Indian authorities. Prima has more details on uh, the CBI's uh, focusing on the money trail and what crucial evidence has been gathered so far. Yes, Prima. Well, yesterday we had spoken about how the CBI had received part compliance reports from the British Virgin Islands and the UK and it, uh, Tunisia. Now we are getting to know from mm. our within the CBI that they have also received part compliance report from Switzerland and three countries, that is UAE, Singapore and Mauritius, have not responded to the CBI's interrogatories at all and the CBI uh, has been sending them repeated reminders. We still don't know why these three countries have not been responding to the LRs, but then of course CBI is also telling us that only Italy so far has completely responded to the CBI's LRs and um, we are also being told by our sources within the CBI that the CBI team had recently visited Italy and that happened this month in connection with the Agatha Western case and uh, they also held very important meetings with uh, the Italian law and police officials and they have been able to gather evidences relating to the money trail from the Italian authorities. Now CBI is also telling us that as of now the CBI is focusing on the money trail and uh, the money trail is spread over eight countries and there is um, more than 50 million euros worth money trail which the CBI is investigating now. Uh, Prima, do we have information so far? You're mentioning eight countries. What are these specific countries? And in terms of this 50 million that they are perhaps probing, uh, you know, what is the distribution as to how much from which country? Well, uh, earlier the CBI had sent letter gateways to eight countries and now we are being told that the CBI is actually looking at over 50 million euros worth money trail which is spread across eight countries and that is the reason why mm -hmm. the CBI had sent the, had sent the letter gateways to these eight countries. The countries are UAE, UK, Singapore, Switzerland, British Virgin Islands, Italy, Mauritius and Tunisia. But so far... Four countries have given partial compliance reports, which means that they have given, they've been uh, able to give only half the information which was sought by the CBI regarding the money trail. And one country that is yes. Italy has been able to get, give a full compliance report and, Mar and uh, Mauritius, Singapore and UAE have not responded to the CBI's LRs at all. CBI sources telling us that they will um, again send the repeated uh, reminders to these three countries to find out why is it that these countries have not been cooperating with the Indian investigation into the VVIP chopper deal. All right, many thanks for that, uh, Prema. They're uh, telling us that the CBI team has, in fact, now gathered crucial evidence in the Augusta Westland scam and is focusing very closely on the money trail in the matter.